All right, let's join our F1 analyst, Tim Haraney, to talk about this incredible news. Lewis Hamilton leaving Mercedes for Ferrari in 2025. Tim, can you put into context just the magnitude of this move for the sport? Yeah, this is huge news, Jay. I mean, m massive. Like, you know, at the, at the beginning of the week, we all thought that, you know, there was going to be some Ferrari news coming, but most of us thought it was going to be Carlos Sainz getting an extension, not... Lewis Hamilton leaving Mercedes, seven-time Formula One world champion, and moving across to the Scuderia. To put into context just how big of a story this actually is, I, I would say that this is probably the biggest driver story in the history of Formula One. It's probably just as big, if not bigger, than the time Hamilton announced that he was leaving McLaren to go to Mercedes back in 2012, Jay. It's, it's, it's absolutely wild. None of us saw this coming. None of us. Um, let's talk about the fact that the seven-time world champ, though, hasn't won a race uh, in a couple of years, Tim. Uh, does this move, going to Ferrari now, actually get him a bit closer to chasing that eighth world title? I think it does. I mean, but it also tells us a couple other things that maybe Mercedes isn't going to be as competitive as they thought they were going to be. And to just give you a little context on the backstory of all of that, if you go back to 2022, Formula One issued in a new set of aero regulations. So how the cars are built and how they create their aerodynamics. Mercedes went in this radic radically new direction with this zero pod concept they called it where red bull racing they had a concept but red bull racing stuck with their concept as these past few years have gone by where mercedes took this concept and it wasn't very good showed up to 2023 and it still wasn't very good and then tried to change their philosophy midway through the season still didn't really work so now that team is left having to backtrack and they're trying to figure out, okay, how are we going to take two steps back to take a giant step forward to try and close that gap to Red Bull Racing? And I think Lewis Hamilton, I think he did some testing on their simulator and noticed that this car, yeah, it may be good for 2024, but I don't think it's going to get to the level that I need it to be at so I can go and chase an eighth world championship. And then the other side of that, Jay, you got Ferrari president John Elkin. He's always wanted to have Lewis Hamilton on his Ferrari team. And Lewis has always wanted to race for Ferrari as well. And so this was just sort of a perfect storm brewing of so many different things. And Hamilton just went and triggered his brake claws with Mercedes. And here we are. We are just over four weeks from the first race at Bahrain. And uh, I, Tim, things got... Things are heating up at F1. This is fun. Hey, <laughs> yeah. thanks for joining us, my friend. We really appreciate it, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again, Jay. Appreciate it.